There is an increasing use of antidepressants in the U.S. with about 30 to 35 million adults having taken an antidepressant during any given year. We start with one treatment, if that doesn't work, which is true in 70-80% of patients, then we go to the second treatment, if that doesn't work, we go to the third treatment. There isn't a brain or a blood test available to decide which patient should get which treatment. Our study is a large NIMH-funded trial that really tried to understand this from a broad perspective, and it included 300 patients across the country. This first report is from our study in looking at the electro electrical activity in the brain through EEG or electroencephalogram. This looks at brain activity in different parts of the brain, and we found a region of the brain called the rostral anterior cingulate. Elevated activity in that region indicated a high likelihood of response to the SSRI sertraline or Zoloft. And that really begins to help us decide that those people with this activity level should be given this antidepressant. Those who don't have this activity level may need to go to some other treatment and not waste their time with this treatment. I think within the next 9 to 12 months, the results from this study will be ex extremely important to do that very thing in terms of changing how people practice medicine. And that can be further improved over time with adding blood tests, which is what we are going to be doing. So therefore, the accuracy improvement, just like many other medical illnesses, this provides us with the signature that uh, ties a patient to a particular treatment.